While Dodge City and the gang prospered during these years, not all of its citizens agreed with how the gang operated. The Texas drovers that the town depended upon for its prosperity scared and intimidated the respectable citizens of Dodge City. A reform movement began to form that questioned the gang's control of the town. Gang members in important positions in county and city government were replaced in a series of elections. The reputation here has simply gotten out of hand. I've spoken to families, businessmen just recently, who refused to relocate or open their doors here in Dodge just because of what Boot Hill represents. Dodge is growing. It's growing every day. There's, there's good people here. It's going to be a fine town one day. There's, there's talk about shutting down Boot Hill. Maybe that'll happen. I, I don't know. If it does, maybe it's for the best. Leave this era of violence behind. It's almost 1880. We're just two decades from a brand new century. Life will change a lot after that. Maybe it's time to look towards the future. In the fall of 1879, Bat Masterson was defeated in his re-election bid as sheriff of Ford County. The new sheriff, George T. Hinkle, was considered an anti-gang merchant. The reformers celebrated Hinkle's election. Alonzo Webster, himself a former mayor, convinced his friend Larry Degger to run against the gang's mayoral candidate, W.H. Harris. In April of 1883, Degger defeated Harris and became mayor. <laughs> 